just, just that. Luna, Silvernova, Tuba, Tecla. I have out here today pretty much the elite in the world of hike and elk count females. This is an amazing group. Silvernova, Luna, come by me. Nova. Good. Luna is a daughter of Tecla. Magnificent dog. Luna or Nova? Nova, come here. Nova? Nova. Come here, Nova. Come on, Nova. Come say hello. Nova, come here. Good girl. Good girl. That's my girl. There's my girl, the beautiful Silver Nova. Beautiful dog, this Nova. Wow. I did not raise Silver Nova, I raised the other ones. Silver Nova was brought in as an outcross bloodline. Lillian raised her, a fantastic dog. These two are twin sisters. Tecla, Tecla and Tuba. And Luna's the daughter of Tecla. So I wanted today to talk a little bit about an aspect that's going on. And I'm getting a flood of emails because of what's happened. And it's called social distancing. Now it's a new phrase for me. I hadn't heard it. But it's kind of a, a mandatory thing with this virus that you try and stay away from people and go to places where there's no people and hang out alone. And in my world, of course, I've been doing that my whole life pretty much, but I always just called it being a loner. But I'm kind of like a foremost practitioner of social distancing because I don't see anybody. I don't go where anybody is. And I don't have guests and hang out with people and don't go where anybody is and I'm hiking out here all the time. And my dogs help me practice social distancing. And so what I'm getting emails on is all the people with my dogs. Now I got a really phenomenal email this morning from a couple. They have two daughters. The schools are closed of course so the daughters are at home. They're doing some online schooling but they got, they got time and the time is got to have something to do with it. Now, a while back, they already knew that, that they wanted to keep active as a family. I hope my uh, camera's not getting too much wind. Anyway, they got a grandson or granddaughter of Tecla. It's out of Silver Nova and Mon. And they emailed me such a beautiful story. So, they're putting on their snowshoes and the girls and the mom and dad and they're hiking with that dog and they're everybody's happy to be out and doing it and they're practicing their social distancing with such fun such excitement and so much joy and the fun they're having with that uh, that's enough Come on. that's enough Declan's just uh, coming in to eat so Okay, get going, you guys. Luna, come here. Tuba, get out of here. Get going. Come on, Luna, come here. So anyway, there, they wrote me a nice story and sent me great photos and videos, and what a thing for them. It was such a, a bonus for them to have Oshikuma that they could be just doing their life, doing their thing, and it didn't disrupt them hardly at all. I mean, they were just able to go out into the into the trails and snowshoe and hike and so on. Now, I got another email not that long ago, and the, the same concept, but it was a senior, a lady, and she lives alone. And she was so thankful to have her Kaya because here she is now, nobody coming to see her, nobody coming over. And she would have been watching the news and just getting more and more scared and all this stuff. 
And now she's able to, you know, because she has the dog, she's not one of the seniors that's necessarily in that situation. She can just go out, walk down the trails real nice and get fresh air and get her mind off things and get away from the news and the bad stuff and come back home and not have to be around people. She goes, you know, just for a nice walk because she's got a great dog, right? She can just go where people aren't and uh, trust in her dog, right? So it's really, really good. And it's just story after story that I'm getting um, uh, about this social distancing. And so I've been practicing it for a long time. I've been doing videos now for 13 years and talking about the same thing all the time. Just how the health benefits, I talked about those studies in Sweden where if you had a dog, you lived 30% longer. And if you had a hunting dog, you lived 40% longer. And right now, you got to stay healthy. you got to be as healthy as you can, especially when you're getting old. And uh, you get up into my age, you got to remain healthy. you got to stay strong. And, and you do that, you know, all kinds of ways. But I'll tell you what, you, you get snowshoeing uphill. I'll tell you, that's a pretty good workout, right? And... Uh, Doing any kind of hiking out here in the bush is just an awesome thing. And no, nobody comes out here. Now, BC's full of crown land. Canada's full of crown land. Same with the U.S. They got uh, national land all over the place. And so it's not hard to do, right? You just walk out the door, basically, in almost any community, and there's crown land not far away. And you can just have the use of it. you got to look after it, but you get free use of it. And so people need to start looking at those aspects. Now, we, we have been pretty fortunate with our program. We, we are a preservation breeder, but we sell pups, of course. And families have supported us. The communities have supported us. The whole North American continent and other places around the world have supported us. So... We know things are a little tight right now for some families because restaurants close, uh, concerts close, uh, any place with 50 people or more is closed. I mean, schools are out for crying out loud. Entire provinces shut down, emergencies. So I know there's families out there that would like to do what I'm doing and what I'm talking about, but they can't necessarily maybe do it financially all the way. So I'm going to make a program for three pups and I'm going to help three families. I'm going to do something. I don't know what I'm doing yet, but I'm going to help out in some way. And all they got to do is be really, really focused and interested and, and, and know a bit about the elk counts and this and that and get a hold of me and we'll see what we can do together as a team between me and them and I'll, uh, I'll help so that they can get out doing this. And uh, they got to have kids. It's, it's a requirement for my little program. They have to have kids and they have to have the ability to feed the dog and contribute some. So uh, I'm going to work with some families, uh, three of them. I've decided to do three and to see if I can't uh, make a contribution that way. Just put a little bit back into the into the pool of uh, life and see how how that helps out. Uh, I've got some really good pups coming, and uh, I'm going to do that and see what I can do. Now, I'm not going to uh, isolate the seniors either. I have. I have a pup, well, she's no longer a pup. And I'm going to work with one senior, a lady, that uh, would like a really good female. And I'm going to work with her, we'll, uh, we'll do something there too. So a lady that uh, would like to have a dog to walk, and this is a skilled dog already. It's trained, it's two years old. And uh, Svea. So I will, uh, I will work with a lady on that. So I'm gonna put that on the website too. And it doesn't matter where you're from. Uh, you've got to be able to get the pup, but uh, outside of that, uh, we'll, we'll make it work. And you've got to contribute something. 
but uh, we're going to do do a couple of projects right now as our share to contribute what we can to help out. And then uh, we're we're planning our regular breeding program just like normal. Uh, we're just going to carry on because uh, it'll it'll get resolved, it'll get saved, but. Uh, I, I hope people really take a look at this now as uh, an opportunity for the world to, to um, really understand what I've been talking about with this social distancing. I, I never used that phrase before. I'm using it now because somebody told me it the other day. But uh, just getting out in nature is what I do, and that's what I wanted to talk about. And get a good dog to go with you so you can enjoy it. But it gets you out of the malls, gets you away from the a &W coffee shops. It, it just pulls you away from all the, the close proximity and um, gives you a, an opportunity to increase your lung capacity, get your blood flowing, and increase your health a little bit. I think it's a good thing. Nova, come by me. So we're, we're really excited to, to help if we can and promote um, a better, safer uh, way of doing things. We think it's safer, we think it's better, and obviously now everybody else is talking about it's safer. So, I mean, I've been doing it for 20 years, maybe longer, and uh, that's just, I, it's nothing new to me. My life hasn't changed at all, right? And uh, I'm in self-isolation the whole time. So it's not like I just ended up in self-isolation. I've been wandering around out here all the time. So it's one of those situations where we want to share that. Now look at this magnificent dog, would you? Is this a beautiful dog or what? Luna, come by me. These two females here are two of the very best in the world. Look at these two. Is this a pair of dogs or what? Come up front, Luna. Come up front. Here's the height of excellence in elk hounds right here. I mean, the other two are, are as good, but this is the world class of world class right here, boy. Now, Silver Nova is a show dog, you can tell. She's show dog world, boy. Look at that. Just this showy, beautiful dog. Luna's pull tail working. So, a slight difference, as you can tell. Tech, a full working dog. Yeah, but I'll tell you, beautiful dogs. Nova got pretty big. She's a big girl. Stout, strong, athletic, full off leash work, working dog now. Very, very good. Yeah, lovely dog. I have her daughter in the yard, Silver Nessa. She's even bigger. She took all the Jaeger size and Silver Novas and cranked out some serious power. Luna, come by me, Luna. Way to go, Luna. Way to go. Tuva, I didn't want you back here. You're just acting goofy, Tuva. Get out of here, Tuva. So, yeah, these are lovely, lovely females. So, uh, later on this year, this one, this one, and that one. Tuva won't catch again. I've tried four times to get her bred. So, she's just trying to get placed when Tecla's ready to go. I'll place them two as a pair. But uh, Luna, she's going to have another litter. Honor and a breeder to the stud dog, Karu. So, yeah, we've got some neat things coming up this year. I'm excited about it. We're going to help out. Anybody that wants to take it and talk to me about that program, they can call me. They can email me. All my stuff's on the website. Kamiya Kennels. And... Uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's a good thing for families to be out. I got those awesome videos from that family and those photos. And I'll tell you what, I felt so great about that. And they were so happy and so thrilled. And it's just a, a great way of life for them now. And, oh, it's good. And Luna's sister, Java, I got a nice uh, set of photos on her the other day, too. And uh, they're the same way. They got the kids and they're out hiking and biking and they're camping and, and snowshoeing and they do everything with that dog and it's such a neat uh, thing to see 
So yeah, I'm very, very thrilled when I get those videos. And I, I get so many of those letters, it's just unbelievable. So we're going to uh, do more on that. I think it would be awesome. And uh, we've got some really great pups coming. Kai had her litter on the ground now. And uh, Tika Montana is coming in, uh, most likely. So pretty fun times ahead. All right, guys, let's get uh, let's get back on the trail.